Does the uh, council prefer to uh, have questions to the manager, or would you rather hear the public input and uh, and reserve your questions? Uh, can't we do both? Sure. Well, you, you can do anything you want. Right? <laughs> okay, Chairman, I, I would like to question the city manager, and and I'm sure council has the same. We've all been given a tourism department um, white sheet as to some of his recommendations, and for sure. I want to hear uh, from the public, and I'm so pleased that the number have turned out to, to see what we're doing. Okay. So if, if I might. <coughs> Steve, uh, going through this, lots and lots of information, and let's start with recommendations on that uh, next to the last page. You were talking about making sure the city will notify PAC about not re renewing that contract. Is that something we're going to discuss as a group, or are we going to hear from the public? Is that just going to hang as a recommendation? Well, I think that's, that's merely a recommendation, but I think that would be part of your overall policy direction as it relates to tourism. That if, if, uh, you know, if, if you don't renew with PACT, then that sets off a different direction. If you choose to renew with PACT, uh, that obviously sets that one pretty quick. Well, I think since we sit with some uh, a few weeks ago talking about goals and things we needed to do at that time, that recommendation had come up and the pack had sort of been out there. And I know there's been a, a letter from the chamber and I know that uh, we've received information as to how that's to be handled, but that's, that's one of the recommendations. Um, you also stated uh, in this about uh, revenue no matter where it comes, whether it's in-house contract or how we're going to do it, we've got to get some revenue in. We have a 2% bed tax right now. 3%. 3 There I am. 3%. You've noted that uh, that could possibly change. There could be a, a booze and food out there. You could also, in this note have a one-tenth of a percent of sales tax coming in. I, I've got my own feelings on that, but I'd, I'd like to hear what the rest of the council has to say. I definitely do agree with all of the assets that we do have, and I think that uh, we haven't been probably due diligent with those as to how they can be marketed. A couple of times you're stating Prescott as a destination, so we're sort of honing in to our to our own and taking care of it. You certainly have the people that can deal with that. Um, my only issue is trying to hire that person. I think right now we've cut this city numbers down as to employees. Uh, I think it would be <coughs> really harsh of us to go out and make a national search to hire a tourism director between eighty and $90,000 as an annual um, salary. I think if we're going to do this, then we need to work it in-house with what we have. If that's wrong, then we'll do better from our mistakes, but I do have a, a problem with that. And other than that, I'll just pass this to the next person. Questions, Council? Comments? Uh, Mary, uh, I'll take the advantage of, of this moment. The, uh, some of these uh, suggestions, uh, we've had lots of meetings, and we've had lots of letters, and lots of suggestions. Uh, meeting with stakeholders, I don't know what the number of hotel rooms that might be represented here today, but I, I know the number that has indicated to me that we do need to change. There's, there's no question. I believe we received a yep. petition okay. of downtown businesses yep. that made that statement. Great. The, uh, in meeting uh, three weeks ago, uh, this was myself with the Restaurant and, and Bar Association, the new organization. PAI, I believe they call it. Uh, they have some concerns about what it costs for them to have their annual renewals on licenses, and it's all over the map. They're, they're, it's, it's difficult to find the reasoning for, uh, 
from any of those fees and, and why one's $100 and one's $600. They take the same posting, they take the same effort and all of those things. So uh, their concern was to talk to the city about maybe looking at, at the licenses as a, as a part of that uh, conversation. Uh, it did come up that truly to, to be in the tourism business, which uh, I think uh, that's what our best potential for economic development is, that uh, it would take more money to run the program. And then the conversation developed to a booze and, and uh, port, uh, food tax. My conversation to them was that if that was a desire, it would have to come from within their organization, not from the city. We were not going to be in the business of taking the tax out uh, and trying to, uh, to move it forward without stakeholders uh, buy-in. The manager and I met with them again last week, and uh, that conversation uh, developed again. And their recommendation was that not only do motels and restaurants and bars benefit from tourism, that probably every retail store in Prescott in some form or another benefits from more tourism dollars coming into town, and indicated that they would probably, after their next meeting, come back to the city and suggest that a cross-the-board tax be considered, and one-tenth of one percent on our sales tax would generate about a mil two. Am I correct, manager? Pretty close. Yeah. Uh, which puts us in the number that uh, the consultant and the other folks we've talked to uh, says is what we should be spending if we want to market our product. So that's a negotiable thing, and it's, it's another way of getting to where we need to be. But uh, any of these uh, uh, in the manager's recommendation here it is purely a thought process, and that's as far as it's gone. But it is a method to show what numbers would do to generate sales tax. The, uh, the thinking there would be, and, and I may be wrong, uh, you know, 1%, but I think my numbers are pretty good, that about 40% of our sales tax uh, comes from people other than residents of Prescott. Uh, and maybe that's, those are people from, that come to shop here from Chino and Prescott Valley and, and all the other areas and outside of our community also. So the, the sh if you can have 40% of your non-residents share in some of these expenses, and, and that's what the whole concept of bed tax is, is that you're not, you're not putting a tax on local people, even though they are local people that, that, uh, that use those facilities. But uh, that's the whole concept of bed tax, is you're having somebody from out of town pay the tax, and we get the benefits of that. So, uh, but this is a process.